Hello and welcome to a Pinecraft coloring page tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your own coloring page for these for your applications. Uh, for this video, I have uh, one more image with uh, some semi-transparent regions like here, with the shadows on the car and so on. Before we will start, we need to find our workplace. It could be an existing coloring book scene. So we select this scene and then what we need to change is uh, in the canvas we could select any existing coloring page and check how it works. Uh, so bucket is selected here and what we will do, we will do one funky way in coloring pages. Uh, we will select our bucket tool and make small changes there. Select Pinecraft brush setup and check how it well, check this config. Uh, let's add a, one randomizer. It will be a random color uh, and put it here. So now, if we will use this tool, every time new color will be selected automatically. And it will be much easier for us to test our regions file. Now we need to paint our uh, page somewhere else. Uh, select uh, your file and open your preferred uh, image editor. I will use uh, Photoshop. In Photoshop, we need to select our regions. I will use a color range and select a black color. Uh, you see that our region is not ideal and we need to shrink our uh, selected regions. To do that, uh, select, modify and contract and set three pixels. You see now it's quite better. And then we need to inverse our selections and delete unneeded pixels. After that, uh, select any swatches. I will use uh, HKS uh, swatches. I don't know what this means, but I think it will work. And start paint your page. Uh, you can use the same color on different regions and in your applications you will find them as a one. It means that if you click here all these regions with the same color will be painted. Not sure, maybe I use it the same color or same grayscale <laughs> color. So we will see that. Okay, uh, I think it's not good that we have a black regions here and here. If we will accidentally click on these pixels in our application, I think uh, this region will be painted. So let's change it to something else. Okay. And now store this as a separated file. Okay, our file is stored. And what we need to do next is create a resources folder. If you store your file out of the resources folder, all your images will be uploaded to the device memory and your app, app could be cr crushed. So this is why if you open a basic and if you open the demo project, you will find that all configs is stored in the resources folder. So let's do the same. Uh, you can create a resources folder and any layer of your project. So let's do that in the in 
in the top folder and let's create a truck okay then we need to change the import settings you need to switch to advanced it, um, for the outline layer make sure that non power of two selected and alpha is transparency and that we don't need uh, MIP maps and seems like that's it for the regions file we switch to advanced as well non power of two alpha from grayscale and no MIP maps and alpha 8 as a format when you hit clear you see that this is how this file will be stored in your package so it will save some memory and then we need to uh, create an icon you see that in the canvas we have several parameter uh, icon size it's 440 and 330 okay so let's open uh, this in the uh, image editor again and store this with a different size oh. okay change size and store this as an icon Okay, and seems like that's it. We have all resources what we need. Now let's create a config file. In the context menu, find create, bind craft, and color in page config. And name it struck. You need to provide a unique name. And then select uh, outline. Mm. It shows that it must be located at resources folder. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's it. Um, track. Okay, we set it up all configs here and let's select our new config in our scene. Okay, and start start painting. Okay, now we can it's very nice. And let's me let me explain you why we should must have a icon folder. If you select uh, page select scene, uh, here we show our uh, icons. So let's change this to the track page. And now it will reflect our color here. And in the systems, Every time when we apply new changes to our canvas, uh, we store the two files, one for the under level and another is the icon preview. Uh, this one. And icon preview is looks following way. If you will go to the folders where Unity store temporary files, you will find how our uh, icon looks for the application. You see that it doesn't have any outline layer and Unity must uh, blend this layer and icon layer. This is why we need uh, icon file. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye.